Hey, thank you for that t-shirt. It's so fucking cute. You like it? I wore it to bed last night. You did? Oh, yeah, and I woke up in a drunken sweat. It was all stuck to me. All right, we want pictures. Pictures? Okay, I'll send you a picture. There you go. Listen sure. to me. I sound like I'm either 13 years old and a boy, or that I've been smoking crack and sucking dick all night. Which one of those is true? This one. Yeah, here at the Detroit Dungeon at the Hard Rock Casino and Hotel, hanging out with Phil Verone. How's it doing, sir? Uh, I'm doing good. How you doing? I'm doing all right, man. So just to give you a little background on Phil here, he used to be in rock and roll, correct? He used to be in, it was in rock and roll. He's a drummer for Saigon Kick. Remember the song The Lizard? That was him. You bounced into Skid Row, is that right? I did. I uh, played drums uh, with Skid Row for about five years, and... Um while the downtime, played drums with Vince Neil, had some fun with him, and uh, we also did a punk record uh, with the bass player from Skid Row. We did some side stuff as well. So yeah. Now you gave all that up, uh, and you got into comedy and acting, and what? What pussy better? Or what was that all about? I, I just wanted more humility. I think. I think that was. Um, uh, you know, it's it's like for me, entertainment's entertainment, and uh, after so many years in the music business and you're kind of relying on all these guys in a band, I kind of wanted to do something myself, you know, and not really have to, uh, if I was going to fail, it was going to be me, you know, me and me only. And um, I, I just really wanted to explore other, um, you know, areas of entertainment. And comedy was a big, big dream of mine as a child. I went into, I did a Playgirl magazine, and um, after that I approached Vivid about doing a celebrity sex tape, and they were gracious enough to say, yeah, let's do it. And, um, and now I have a new toy line coming out through Cal Exotics. You were in uh, Playgirl. Were you the, like the centerfold? or? I was. I was the first nude rock star centerfold, and I was actually the cover. Yeah, so it was like a 14-page spread, and uh, it was really cool. I mean, it's just something I wanted to do. It's bucket list stuff. You know, I got to an age where I'm like, I'm living, having a good time, not hurting anybody and just taking life in and just want I, and I'm able to do everything that I've always wanted to do and I'm gonna have fun with it. Bucket list stuff obviously being 2012 supposedly the end of the world is coming and I think it's a lot of people they, they come here and it's just you should see it all once why not you know is it are these people that evil are they have they killed anybody you know and stuff like that we won't get too deep on it but that's good that you kind of seen that and said you know what I want to go be in Playgirl I want to be in a porno flick is it that bad it's me yeah, and I'll tell you, there's a lot worse things going on in the world today. And, uh, you know, what I'm finding out about the adult industry is that uh, so many people kind of, you know, talk down about it because of what it is. But it's an amazing business. There's a lot of money. There's some very smart people doing business here. And these adult stars where you think, like, these women don't understand what's going on, they know exactly what's going on. They're very smart, and, 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 and it's a very lucrative business for them. And that's what's really impressed me about about the business uh, on that end, you know. So um, when I signed with Vivid, I was very fortunate to have a company that big that really stood behind me. So now I went from my celebrity sex tape, and now we're doing another series of, of swingers because I'm in the lifestyle um, for many years. So we're actually doing real swinger series right now, and uh, we're having a blast, you know, just having a good time. Good to hear. Now let's see this doll. Let's pull this out here, sir. Whip it out. What do we got? as a, um, uh, the idea of just to do a mold of myself. Well, how do I get one of these? Played more from the sex rehab show that I had in the band, so it worked out real good. I'm here. Wow, you know what, this fucker really belongs in the dungeon, I, he? I go old school. The GHB is too easy. I what? Oh my god. This is awesome. Hey, this is Phil Verone, and you are watching Detroit Dungeon.